Hey, happy Pride, happy Sunday. Uh, I guess in the honor of Pride and Sunday, I'll give you a gay gospel artist. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I didn't have to be that shady, but I did. Um, dang, I gave y'all Ricky Dillard last Sunday. Was it last Sunday, Sunday 4? Let me see who else I can pull up from my <laughs> repertoire. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down and got up. All right, that's all I'm gonna give you. Um, Rambling Report, B. Scott. Jesse Smollett secretly married this famous Hollywood director. Um, I'm not gonna click the link. I'm not gonna click, I'm not gonna click the link. I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and click the link. I'm sure y'all wanna know. It was Patrick Ian Polk. Noah's Ark being Mary Jane and P Valley. I used to watch a lot of Noah's Ark when I was a child. That's why I'm the gay man I am today. Um, but I don't know him. So I don't know why they put famous in front of Hollywood director. I don't, because I don't know that man. Um, Lamar Odom is still talking. As I was saying before I was so rudely overheated. Um, hold on. Girl, Michael, what's his name? Not Michael, Lamar Odom talks far too much. And if you hear the fan, I, well, again, we do nothing. That's what. Um, yeah, he's he's got a lot he's saying. I really feel like y'all told me he was putting out a book. I really feel like I don't even need to read the book because he's talking. He's talking. Like, what I'm about a book for? He he's telling me. Um, let's see. The Boondocks is coming back. I I don't need it. The last season, season four of the Boondocks was kind of trash. It was kind of trash. It you know, uh, Aaron Magruder the the creator of the show stepped away and they just did with it what they wanted to and it just wasn't it wasn't great it wasn't great so i don't know how we feel about this fifth season i'm not super interested i'm gonna watch because i've watched every episode <laughs> and i mean i'm not gonna just not but i'm i'm bored with it i'm bored i may review it we don't know i've never reviewed an animated series so we'll see we'll see uh catholic school principal resigns after being arrested in strip club while on a class field trip. I never, I never. Sir, not only are you the Catholic school principal, which, okay, fine, but you're at the strip club during the field trip? During the field trip, like the kids are tripping in their fields and you're stripping at the clubs? I. So yeah, it's good that he resigned because he was going to get fired. He was going to get fired. Um, Fergie and her husband, Josh DeHamel, um, have filed for divorce. Well, Fergie filed for divorce. I have to be honest, I don't know this man. I forgot Fergie was married. I don't know him. Um, I'm not talking about the Lena Waithe, Jason Mitchell situation. I'm waiting to see where we go with it. Um... Y'all know I have spoken very highly of Lena Waithe in the past. I have given her all the props. And I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. That's what I will say right now. I'm waiting to see what is going on with Jason Mitchell. Because that's his name, right? Yeah, Jason Mitchell. Because everybody has fired him. So something something happened and something was proven. So I'm waiting to see where we go there so I can know um, how to properly uh, go about disdain. Disdain. <laughs> And how I should um, handle coming at Lena. How I should handle coming at Lena. Because y'all know I love her. Y'all know I do. So we're, we're going to watch. We're watching. We're waiting. We're going to find out. But I am very disappointed in what I know thus far. Moving on. Lala Anthony lands role as Brian Austin Green's wife in 90210 Reboot. Um, I don't know who Brian Austin Green is, but he's ugly. The picture here is... not for me um i never watched 90210 because that's not where i wanted to spend my time i was watching the simple life i was watching actual wealthy white people instead of tv wealthy white people you know that's how i spent my early 2000s how about you how about you um something happened with meek mill at a hotel racism but they apologized and he accepted the apology hooray um, more Jesse Smollett news. I, 
Y'all know God told me to hush. Uh, Lee Daniels announced that Star won't be returning to television after Fox cancellation. I want people to understand that's how cancellation works. It's very rare that a show gets picked up again. It's very rare. That's not a. I know it. It has happened a few times in the past year. A couple shows have been canceled and picked up again, or canceled and picked up on random stations. That's not the norm. That's not <laughs> the majority. And I don't think it has yet to happen with a black show. And I don't think Star was going to be the black show uh, to have it happen. I just don't think so. Actually, I know so because it's, it's not happening. Star's dead. <laughs> She's dead. Um, rest in peace to the show, Rip, but a prime example of why you don't end things on dramatic, extra, cliffhangery cliffhangers. Because now we'll never know what happened. I didn't watch the last episode because I have attachment issues and abandonment issues, and I don't generally watch last episodes of shows, uh, finales, or series. I watched the last episode of the season finale, usually when the season premiere is about to come back on. Because I ain't watched the How to Get Away with Murder season finale. But when the season premiere comes back on, I'll, I'll catch it. <laughs> I'll see what I missed. Um, more R. Kelly stuff. More Jesse Smollett stuff. More R. Kelly stuff. Gail King is a ratings hit for CBS because she's a great interviewer. She's a fantastic interviewer. I don't know <laughs> why y'all just now finding out about Gail. She's that girl. She's not just Oprah's, you know, bosom buddy. She's not. She's that girl, and she always has been. I'm a little extra greasy right here. Got a little heavy with my E oil, my vitamin E. Anywho. Um, Jason Mitchell lost an MTV Movie and TV Award nomination due to his carrying on. Jordan Woods lends a guest role on Grownish, but who hasn't guest starred on Grownish? Who hasn't? Who? Everybody's on that show. Everybody's on Blackish. I saw Qu Qu Quivinja, oh girl, the stutter. Quivinja Nae Wallace on Blackish not too long ago. She looks great. She's growing up. I'm proud of her. But everybody been on, on Blackish and Grownish, and I'm just waiting for the cancellation of Mixedish. I'm waiting. Um, man dies on flight after swallowing 246 bags of cocaine. Sir, could you not have just swallowed 245? It was that last bag that got you. May you rest. Um, Christy Carlson uh, Romano opens up about her battle with depression and self-harm. You know, I always loved Ren Stevens. I loved Cadet Kelly. She wasn't Cadet Kelly, but she was the cadet uh, that bullied Kelly. Um, for those of you who are not my age, Christy Carlson Romano was an actress on the Disney Channel. When I was growing up, she was the sister, the older sister, Ren, on Even Stevens. And like I just said, the the um, military personnel and Cadet Kelly with Hilary Duff, who played Lizzie McGuire. She also voiced Kim Possible, who I had the Kim Possible lunchbox. I was Kim Possible. I was. She was my favorite Disney show. I don't know what the girls are doing with that re reboot movie. I'm not, I'm not watching that. I'm not a part of that. Uh, Christy Carlson Romano is my girl. She's my Kim Possible and forever will be. Forever will be. So I hope she's doing better. I know she recently had a baby and all of that. So I hope her depression is, you know, clearing up and she's no longer self-harming. But I'm not going to click this article. I'm not. Um, Cardi B says canceled shows due to surgery com complications cost her millions. Aww. 2020 Democratic candidates are calling for Trump's impeachment following Mueller's statement. I don't talk about politics, but uh, I thought y'all wanted to know. Uh, Love and hip-hop star Ra Ali loses baby after premature birth. Nicki Minaj offers support. Um, that's very sad. I heard about that the other day. Lady Nika talked about it on her channel. Um, I'm not sure Beautiful Soul, I don't remember if she spoke on that. But I know I watched Lady Lady Nika and someone else. Maybe Forest Rocks? So I don't know, girl. Um, but I heard about it and I've been praying for Ra. I don't know who Ra Ali is. I didn't watch her when she was on Love and Hip Hop. Because again, I, I'm very finicky about Love and Hip Hop. But um, keeping her lifted, I know this is a very difficult time. And good for Nicki Minaj for reaching out. I'm, I think they've had differences and beefs and things. So we appreciate Nicki Minaj for, for reaching out. That's nice. That's nice. I still think she's petty. I still think she's a petty heifer. I do. Uh, but we appreciate her for reaching out. Sia offers to adopt rapper Teen Dasani from HBO's Foster. Okay, I don't know. I've never seen HBO's Foster, but um, 
uh, see, Tia, see is ready to be somebody's mama and you know somebody needs a home so we thank god you know hopefully the adoption comes through everything works out and uh she will have her black baby like everybody else oh the girls just love a black baby um steve harvey accused of unfriendly show exit reportedly blamed staff for show cancellation um we don't know the staff we just know steve and steve wasn't cutting it with his little show and they canceled it ain't got nothing to do with the staff nothing i <laughs> never i don't know what steve harvey's problem is and why he can't take personal responsibility for the fact that girl we just don't see it for you like that now i personally um when i'm going through it i pull up the steve harvey morning show and listen to the strawberry letters because they bring me joy but i don't listen to the morning show in its entirety i don't watch the um steve harvey the talk show i don't watch family feud um i never enjoyed little big shots uh, i think the children are adorable but i don't need to watch them do things you know i don't have to it's fine <laughs> i don't need other people's kids watching them throw basketballs and do math good for them um but yeah i just steve harvey girl your time your time is nearly up and i'm praying for you that's the best i can do i can pray for you i can pray for your your family and your uh, the sanctity of your marriage which they say is on the rocks that's all i can do that's all um, Portia and Dennis may or may not be broke up. I, I don't know Dennis, so I don't, <laughs> I can't, I can't say that I care. Um, was Pilar ever going to have a mom and daddy who lived in the same house together and were deeply in love? I never thought so. I didn't grow up with that. It, I'm not, you know, an, an abnormal person. I, it didn't make me, you know, a, a serial killer or anything. There's plenty of us who grew up in that, our mamas and daddies. Uh, didn't talk, didn't know each other, didn't love each other, or whatever. I think she'll be okay. Little Pilar is who I'm talking about. Because I don't care about nobody but Pilar in this situation. She'll be fine. Um, I don't feel like reading all of that. I'm not talking about Lamar anymore at the moment. Iggy, Iggy Azalea's nudes leaked. I didn't see them, but I assume I've seen as much in a music video. Iggy Azalea's always naked in her videos. Naked in a in a way that's like oh she's she's extra nude not just the typical you know how when you see a Nicki Minaj video and you're kind of taken aback because it's like oh she naked naked like you see the full circumference of her booty or like when Beyonce first put out um Beyonce self-titled and we first saw the partition um music video and it was like oh that's her behind behind like that is her booty like it, that's how I feel when I see an Iggy Azalea video so. but her privacy I understand that her privacy has been breached and I'll pray for her I'll pray for her. Uh, I can't do it with Ellen. We're praying for Ellen DeGeneres. I can't read the story. I'm sorry. Um, high school graduations and such, which uh, Carl Crawford, whomever that may be, wants you to know he signed Megan Thee Stallion. Okay. Did he rap on her album? Because I don't think anybody was like, oh my God, who discovered Megan Thee Stallion? It's like Megan Thee Stallion is a very talented rapper. Um, he just apparently had the best deal and she signed with him but i'm certain she would have been signed anyway because she was when she before she even got signed before she dropped an album i was like oh megan the stallion's going to be that girl that girl and who is she she's that girl she's hot girl meg and we support and we love and stream fever fever um I don't know why this is reported but Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle's family thinks Imani's mom is too unstable to care for her but the sister already got the custody so why obviously I don't know why this is a story we already know that or we you know the court has already been been shown something of that nature praying for the Hussle family praying um Cuba Gooding Jr. was with John Singleton when he died. Y'all know I don't trust Cuba. Um, nope, not reading that. Drake's dad, Dennis Graham, reveals he's creating a new TV show. Superstar Star Son is on board. Who's going to watch Drake's daddy on TV? Comment below if you will. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care if you want to see Drake's daddy on TV. anybody who ordered gratuity we didn't ask for this who ordered the gratuity i see it here on my receipt and 
on my ticket. I, I didn't order this. I didn't order gratuity. I ordered a meal. <sighs> California man killed in shark attack while vacationing in Hawaii with his wife. I be trying to tell y'all to not be out in that ocean like that. Don't be out in that ocean like that. Get up on the shore, you know, and, and around the shore, all the way out in the ocean. Not for me. Not for African American me. Nope. Uh, Sinead Clermont opens up about the fatal night with her sugar daddy that landed her in prison. I didn't love him, I liked him. Did anybody thought that she loved her sugar daddy? Did anybody thought that? Comment below if you thought. Wait, throw your hands in there and wave them like you just don't care. Um, OJ Simpson bragged about having hot tub sex with Kris Jenner. I never. I never. I couldn't possibly. Could you? No. Never. I, mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No. <laughs> I don't. That is. It's disgusting. I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to see it. I'm disgusted. Truly disgusted. Um. I don't know who Rachel Roy is, but she's accused Dame Dash of using drugs around their kids. I guess she's Dame Dash's uh, baby's mother. Baby's his mother. I don't know. Um. I believe it. I believe he's done drugs around the children. Taylor Swift shuts down an interviewer's question about having children. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, inmate freed with the help of Kim Kardashian now flooded with job offers. Good for him and her, I guess. Mel B addresses sound issues during Spice Girls reunion tour opening. Hopefully the vocals and the sound will get much better. Hopefully. Um, that's it, girl. I didn't tell y'all about Dennis Rodman uh, randomly slapping that man at the bar, but he said he ain't do it. Um, video shows Wendy's employee bathing in restaurant kitchen sink. I... I don't have anybody to punch right now, but when I say the urge, I felt just a surge shoot through my body of wanting to slap fire out of somebody. I, have, it, I haven't felt such a strong want to slap fire urge from somebody since I was like 15, 16, when I would, because I knew I wasn't going to prison. Now that I'm, you know, of legal age and adulthoodness and I'm not going to juvie, I've, you know, woo side, I've calmed down because I don't want to go to prison. I used to be very scrappy. I used to be a very scrappy uh, teenager with the fighting and the slapping fire and the cursing, the cursing, the cursing. Um, and I felt just that build up in me just all of a sudden when I read that article. I have never <laughs> wanted to just, as a full grown woman, beat somebody I don't know to a pulp like I just I don't know if y'all could see it on camera just surge through my body I have never <laughs> I need to see y'all I need we need to address this what just happened to me I wanted to I want I felt myself wanting to teleport to where this girl is and stomp her stomp her you know I don't play about my food those of you that have been around for a while know I don't play games with my food with cleanliness either cleanliness around my food don't play games I, this girl has her coochie in the Wendy's kitchen sink. I want you to let that sit and marinate with you because that's the first, I, the girl's coochie where they wash the chicken cutlets. I never, I, I'm hanging up. I, I, I'm hanging up. I need to go decompress. I need to watch some Netflix. Give me a little juice because my feet, my temperature, my temperature. My blood pressure. Girl, I'm hanging up. Like, comment, subscribe, everything. Do you, do you, do you, do you. Like, comment, and this is why I talk slow. Because I get revved up and I get these stuffs. Like, comment, and subscribe. And all the things that YouTubers say. Happy Pride, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.